All right, so the number one alternative to GIMP is not Photoshop. So let's get that out of the way. So I'm not recommending Photoshop to anyone that still wants to use GIMP, but there is a photo editing software that I believe is a hundred times better than GIMP. However, it's not free. That being said, it's not that expensive either compared to Adobe's monthly subscription or other editing software that can cost hundreds of dollars or more. You can actually get this software for around $40, when it's on sale, which it tends to be throughout the year. All right, no more stalling. The number one recommended alternative to GIMP is Affinity Photo version two. And a link to download the free trial is in the description below. Now you're probably wondering why I think it's a hundred times better than GIMP. So let's start off with the not so obvious. So Affinity, because it's a for-profit company, updates its software in a timely manner with new features that GIMP will never have in my lifetime. Yes, GIMP updates its software, but the last major version of GIMP, which was 2.10, was released five years ago, and it could be another year or two or five before GIMP 3.0 is released. And more importantly, when 3.0 is released, it's going to be missing basic editing tools that are already available in Affinity Photo right now. So let's check out six must-have photo editing tools that you'll never see in GIMP. So Affinity Photo includes a raw processor to edit your raw files. So you won't need a separate app as you do for GIMP. Another editing tool I find essential that GIMP will not have until 3.2, which could be a decade away and is already available in Affinity Photo is adjustment layers. So an adjustment layer allows you to apply an edit on a separate layer, which can then be altered at any time since it's not directly affecting the pixels below it. So this is a tool that I use on a daily basis. Now, if you've ever needed to resize multiple images, then you'll find the batch editing feature in Affinity to be a huge time saver. So instead of resizing and exporting one image at a time in GIMP, you can select multiple photos with the batch editor. And then once you have your images chosen, you can type in the new size and it will auto magically resize and export everything at the same time. Now, even the selection tools in Affinity Photo are superior to GIMP. They have what they call a smart select brush that will instantly remove the subject that you select with the brush. And that's pretty cool if you ask me. They also have a refine selection tool that mimics what Photoshop has and gives you the ability to refine the edges of your selection to make more complex selections like selecting hair. And retouching in Affinity Photo is a hundred bajillion times easier and faster with its built-in frequency separation filter. Once you apply the filter, you can easily remove any type of skin blemish. All right, so not that long ago, I did a GIMP tutorial on merging multiple images to create an HDR image. And even when you master the technique, it can still take a few minutes to get the final edit, which really isn't all that good anyway. But with Affinity Photo's built-in HDR editing tool, it's super duper easy and 10 times faster. Now, if you'd like to discover two more alternatives for GIMP, check out this video right here.